Hello everyone. Today I'll demonstrate how you can customize your Stata graphs. When you create graphs using Stata, a default setting is used. And this default setting can be edited within Stata. Let's open the database LBW. Uh, just a reminder, this is a data set about the birth weight of a child. And we have information about the uh, mother of the child here. I like to use the bar graph. Uh, we'll go to graphs and we'll choose bar charts and bring this here. Mean of birth weight categories. Let's do this across race and submit. Here we have the graph and what we observe here is that the average birth weight of a child is much lower in this uh, race than in this one. Now, how do we customize this? Uh, let's click on this graph editor, which shows a graph with a pencil on it. And uh, we can either go via uh, bar region scale axis. I just like to click. If you click on the outside, it gives you the whole graph and it tells you that the outside has a shade of light bluish gray. You can change that to whatever you like. I like to keep that as white. Now these are vertical. If you click on the x-axis or close to the x-axis, you have all this information about what different font sizes and uh, styles that have been used. Let's move that to medium. And I would like this to be horizontal, easier for me to read. Click on the y-axis. I like to change that to medium as well. Oh, maybe medium large, <laughs> better for my aging eyes. All right, so here we have that. Now, uh, I like to change these color scheme of these bars. We can choose whatever we like. I like the brown quite a bit for this scheme. And here we go. Now, what we can do is we can save this graph. We can save it as the Stata graph, and we can go back and adjust or make changes we can also save this as a PDF file, but more importantly, as a image, as a JPEG image in high quality or maximum quality. The other thing that you can do is if you are not planning to work on this further, this is your final graph, you can copy this. This has been copied and you can open up a Word file and you can paste this in the Word file yeah? and adjust it any way you like. So that would be a copy and paste command. All right, so this is a scheme that I have used here. And uh, I can save that graph or not, up to me. I don't want to save it right now. Now, uh, let's go back to the bar graphs again, bar chart. And what I would like to uh, explain to you guys is, uh, once you've added these, th these uh, categories, you can add another category as well, where you uh, put down whether the mother smokes or not. Yeah. So when we do that, what we get is we get uh, two categories of smokers and non-smokers. And within those, we get these ranges of different categories, right? The other thing that we can do here is instead of using this as a group two, we can say, can you please draw these graphs by smoke? Yeah, that would be another way of representing this. And when you submit this, what you actually get is you get two categories represented side by side and within that you can see how race plays a role as far as average birth weight is concerned. And again you can uh, go and change the insides by first going on the graph editor and changing how you want it to be displayed. And these are non-smokers. You can change that to whatever you like. Uh, it's non-smokers so maybe I'll put in blue. We can change the other uh, color scheme here as well. We can either save it or not save it. Now, let's go back to the graph. Here, we are asked if you also want one with the totals. So that would be smokers plus non-smokers. So we want the graphs for the two categories put together as well. Yeah, uh, the subgraph organization, we can choose the different scale multipliers, scales or margins that we want around it. Now, there's a default, it is being presented as two columns, but we can ask it to be represented in two rows. So if I accept this, as you can see, this would be now represented in rows instead of columns. Uh, again, uh, you can go and change the 
different bars with the way you want. Uh, let's choose magenta this time and we can choose white for the background. All right. So this is uh, different ways of representing averages across different categories. Let's go down to the scatter graph here. So we go here, create, and we would like scatter. Y is less to the birth weight of the child, and the X variable can be the weight of the mother. And this gives us uh, the graph uh, for the scatter plot. Here. Again, we can go and change whatever we want here. First click on the graph editor. It won't work otherwise. Let's choose these dots. And these are in circle format. So you can choose however you want it. I want to change that to diamonds. And instead of the navy, I would like this to be magenta. Or let's try to have the maroon. We can also change the size of these. So let's make it medium small. Or we can even change at this point whether we want it as a line or a scatter graph or more. Let's go to this more and what we see here is we have no angles for the dots. This is not really uh, too different from what these guys give us. We can ask this I like to do. It gives a really nice touch to it which is to give an outline color uh, to the dots that you have here yeah let's have a look yeah so it, it just visually makes it a little bit more appealing yeah? and the same thing you can uh, change the outside coloring scheme to white if you like or to something else you can even change the insides right so you have a white here but you can change that to uh, whatever you like here uh, I have changed it to stone right again you can now copy this and paste it on your word file uh, and uh, it copies the whole graph. Here I have the correlation between the two. Yeah. Let's take that back. So this is how you can uh, use the graph editor. I don't want to save this anymore. Uh, how you can use the graph editor to customize the graphs that you make. Yeah. Uh, similarly, the scatter graph, you can do the same thing again. Uh, let's go back to graphics, to a graph. Create. Let's create the scatter graph, scatter graph again. It's the same one, except, and there are certain schemes that you can choose within Stata. There is a monochrome, which is a little more boring. You can reverse the color scheme. You can choose different color schemes as well here. Uh, there are there is already setting for the style of the graph, which is used by the Economist, and those that are used by the Stata Journal. And so you can use those schemes as well. You can name the graph if you like. Uh, and this is what I wanted to show you guys. You can again choose to draw this scatter plot across different uh, categories. And in this one, I want to use it to separate out kids who were born prematurely and among the mothers that smoke and among the mothers that do not smoke. Yeah? So I want to separate this out for smoke but I also want to go in and say, can you please just pick up the kids who were not prematurely born? Yeah. And if I submit this, what I get is I get the graphs scatter plot for two different categories, groups of people, non-smoking mothers, smoking mothers. And from this, I have removed the kids that were prematurely born. Again, since I had not... Uh, suggested to use the a graph for the totals. It did not provide me with the totals in this case. So these are the different formats that you can use for stata graphs. I hope that helps. Thank you for joining us.